Yo people, I'm Sean from The Net Ninja and this is HTML Basics Lesson 10 HTML Links. So we make links to other websites or your own website or anything at all using what's called the A or anchor tag. And the way we do this is by specifying an A, so really simple to remember, and then putting the attribute href and that stands for hypertext reference. Um, you don't need to remember that. I'm sure that half of the front end web developers out there don't even know what this stands for. Um, you just need to remember you put the attribute href and then we put the link source within the double quotes. So we've got different types of links. There can be internal links, which are links to pages within your own website. So the contact page or the about page, things like that. We've got external links, which could be a link to any other website on the internet like google.com or thenetninja.co.uk. So we've got download links. And these are links to files. So if you go on a music website, you might have download links for MP3s. Um, or if you go on a restaurant, you might have a download link for a PDF file, which is the menu. These are all download links. And then finally, we've got anchor or placeholder links. And this is a way of navigating up and down within a web page. So links don't necessarily have to link to other pages. They can link to specific areas within a web page. Okay, so let's jump back into the HTML document where we left off and add some links. So here we are exactly where we left off last time. I have added some new pages on the left and a couple of new folders. I'll just quickly go through these. First of all, I've added this contact.html file. And remember, you can add new files by just left uh, right clicking this panel here and go to new file. So I've done that for a contact page. I've made a new folder here called prices and remember you can make a folder by right clicking go to new folder and then within the prices folder I made this HTML document freshwater fish prices and that's going to show us all the prices um, for the freshwater fish it's just a blank page at the minute and then finally I made this downloads folder and within that I've got the all dash prices PDF so let's start by adding some internal links so remember we need our A to begin with and then the href attribute and we'll close that off first of all and within the double quotes we need to specify where this link is located. So it's an internal link and it's in the same directory as the index file. So remember this link is relative. I'm going to put in the position of the contact page relative to this document here. So because it's in the directory, the same directory, all I need to do is put the name of the file, which is contact.html. So we've done that. And then here we specify the link text. This is the text that the user will see in the browser. And when they click that text, they'll go to this page. So I'll just put contact us. And I'm going to save that. And then we'll view this in a browser. So show in Explorer, double click this. And we've got our web page and there's the contact us link. So if we click this, there we go. It takes us to the contact us page. We'll just click back now. So next we've got the prices link that we need to link to. And we'll start this the same way. href, ahref. And we'll close that off. And this time we're within the prices folder. So remember the link is relative to this page. So we need to jump in the prices folder. And remember after we specify, uh, specify the name of the folder, we need to put a forward slash to say we're going into this folder. And then brackets is coming up with this freshwater fish prices document. So we'll just click that and it'll auto fill for me. And we'll put in price list. Save that off and see this in a browser. And there we go, price list. And we're taken to the Freshwater Fish Prices web page. Okay, so what I'd like is when people go to this page, I want them to be able to click a link that takes them back to the index. And to do this, we're going to go into the Freshwater Fish Prices page and we're going to start our A tag again with the href and then have our double quotes. And then this time, we need to go up out of the prices folder. Remember this document is in the prices folder and we need to specify the location of the index file relative to this document. So we need to go out of the prices folder 
into the root directory and then find the index file. And the way we jump out of a folder or go up one directory is by doing two full stops or periods and then a forward slash to jump out of the directory and then we can specify the name of the file we want which is index.html. We'll put the link text to be back to index and then we'll save it and open this up in a browser. And we can see now we've got this back to index link which we click and it takes us back to the home page. Okay, so there's our internal links. The next thing we're going to do is add an external link. So we'll jump back to the index to do this and we'll start our a tag again. We'll put a href in. And when you do an external links, you can put the website name in, the net ninja uk but you need to be more specific than this if you look at the start first of all we've not got the www dot which we don't always need but you know that's generally what websites start with and then this still won't work it's not specific enough yet and that's because we've missed off the protocol now a protocol i'm not going to get too much in depth about but a protocol is a way that a browser um kind of communicates with a server so they use this protocol called HTTP. So it stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So we need to put that at the start of our link just to specify that's the protocol we're using to request this web page. So you need to always remember to put this little bit of uh, text before every external link you do. I uh, will close that A tag and then we'll say um, try out some awesome web tutorials. Okay, so let's save this and view it in a browser. And then we can see this link here, try out some awesome web tutorials. Click that and there it goes. It takes us to the NetNinja website. All right, so we've got our internal links and we've got our external links. What should we do next? We'll do a download link. So I mentioned before that we've got this downloads folder and within that is the all prices PDF. So I want users to be able to click on a link to download this PDF onto their computer. And there's nothing in this PDF. I'm just using this as an example. It's a blank PDF. So we'll do this the same way. We start with an A tag, href, and then we want to specify the location of this file that we need to download relative to this page. So we need to jump into the downloads folder. Then we do a forward slash and then brackets has recommended all prices, which is correct. So I'll click that close off the angle bracket and then we'll put download our full price list. Okay, let's save that out and view this in a browser. And there we go, there's the link. So if I click this, we've got our PDF. You can see at the top it's taken us to the PDF and it says loading here, but there's actually nothing on this PDF. So we'll just get a blank one. But this kind of demonstrates the uh, the point I was trying to make. You can download this PDF now onto your computer. So we've seen how anchored tags can be used for internal links, external links, and downloads. The final thing I want to do is show you how they can kind of link between different places on a web page. And probably the most common use of this is to place one at the bottom of a page. If you have a web page that's really long and you've scrolled down for a long time at the bottom of the page you might have seen a link that says something like back to top and when you click on this link it zooms you right back to the top of the web page you don't have to scroll all the way back up again so that's one use of this so we'll demonstrate that now at the bottom of this page I'm going to open up a link tag and we put our H reference in just the same and then to specify another part of the page we put a pound symbol first of all and then we put what's called an ID and we'll call this top and I'm not going to go into too much deal about, uh, detail about IDs at the minute just remember that we pop a pound sign in and then the name of an ID that we want to take the user to when they click this link I put to top and then we'll come to the top and we'll create a div tag. Don't worry too much about what I'm doing at the minute. I'm creating an ID on this div tag called top. And then 
there's our placeholder. So if I view, the, uh, view this in a browser, the browser is looking at this link here and saying, okay, well, when the user clicks this link, I can see that it's got a H reference of this idea here, uh, ID here, top. So I'm going to look for an element in this document with an ID of top. It finds it right up here at the top, and it takes the user to that element. So I am going to be covering, by the way, IDs in later lessons. So don't kind of worry about this too much now. Um, I'm just going to save it out and view this one last time in the browser. And we'll scroll right the way down to where it says to the top. I'm going to click this and it zooms us right back up to the top. So there we go. Uh, we've covered external, internal, downloads and kind of reference links. So there's one more thing I want to show you. And that's an attribute that we can apply to links or the link tag. And we mainly use this on external links. Picture this. You've got your website and you're linking to another website, okay? Now, do you really want the user to leave your website to visit this website that you're linking to? If you do, that's great. If you don't, more often than not, you're gonna want that link to open up in a new tab or a new window. And that's why we use this extra attribute. It's called the target attribute. And we wanna specify for a new window or a new tab, uh, underscore blank so that when someone clicks on this link now it's going to open up in a new window so I'm going to open up this one last time and when I click this web tutorials link now it's opening up in a new tab so that's all there is to it um, if you have any questions about the links uh, the a tag or anything like that comment below um, subscribe if you like these videos there's going to be plenty more coming uh, yeah and I'll see you guys in the next lesson